Good evening. It is the grand final here at Outpost on Fire for Call of Duty 4. What can one say? It is a Nexus versus none other than Sivo, the Hungarians versus the Polish. Coming all the way out to Be Belgium here, Antwerp. All the way from the far east from where I am sitting. And doing doing really well throughout the tournament. Sivo coming out with Sunday with one of the most superb scopes throughout. Header having some of the most insane clutches so far together with the likes of Preki as well, who we're probably going to be seeing back in some videos. Freak, Fox, and Evo well, on the NX side, side who just managed to win versus Yoyo Tech in a three in a two mapper thriller. Zycox, Future, K-Star, Stormy, and Boko. The first round has just been played. The cake has been cut. It's time to have some. Let's get this underway. We're inside the game. We are live, live, live. As uh, Sivo already sending out two very, very quickly with the Nexus. Dropping too early on, but look at this. Evo popping around the corner like it is nothing, getting the second to boot. That is aggressive light there. And all Stormy can do is think, you know what? Um, where am my team? Why am I all by myself? And why? Why did um, Evo just run all the way up and killed everybody? Now he has got himself, well, one kill out of that, but a lightning round once more. Together with me on the stream is none other than Kleinman. Kleinman, welcome to this grand final in what is the last match. Well, basically the last match we're going to be streaming for this event yeah. for the last event that you're going to be adminning for a while. For, at least for a while, yeah. Well, the cool thing was that Anexus are now should be awake. Right. Because they got disturbed by Sivo last mm -hmm. round. Somebody has been poking the dragon. Yeah. Right. So we should see uh, Stormy and Future really stepping it up right now. We'll see whether or not they are going to, because, well, they need to, versus the onslaught of Sivo, as we saw in the round earlier on. As, uh, you know what, let's go fully into the game and uh, see in the full glory that is Call of Duty 4 without the picture-in-picture, picture, if quite possible. As uh, Nexus, in the meantime, in round number three, whip it out once more. Let's take a look at these scores so far. We got, well, everybody's basically yeah. on the scoreboard, which is surprising. You generally don't see that very often. As, no uh, one's doing a James Bond. No, nobody's uh, going for the 007 no. just yet. Evo trying his luck once again, trying to rush forward. Wasn't to be. The nades come in. As Future doing the same. SMG in tow. Had her trying actually very aggressively once again on A, with just Sivo remaining, and he's going to be scoping somewhere around the map, waiting for somebody to come by. And it's a 1v5, gets the first, got not going to get the second, and it's a 1v3. We have a lot of fast-paced uh, rounds here already. We are only underway for five minutes, and we're already on round number five. First nade's already coming in, future. Moving out. A Nexus could try a difference in strategy. Playing a little bit more aggressive. That oh. is bad there, Future. Taking out Boko as he's trying to get himself out of Melon. It wasn't to be. However, kills are being exchanged back and forth. Someday expecting somebody to go in towards the bomb site and getting the bomb itself down. His header is still waiting, Explosion. waiting and waiting. And his patience has been paid off. K-Star and Zcox. Zycox still remaining. Make that just K-Star. As, uh, as he says, drops all the way down. It is four to three. Lightning round after lightning round. Well, this is the map that Sivo picked after the the coin toss, so they should be confident enough here to uh, at least take it to an Nexus. Even though they're and, only uh, already one round behind here on uh, Annex. And what round or what map are going to we be playing after this? Um, well, what do you think an Nexus picked? Uh, I say 13-0. Oh, okay. I'm going to say back. Yeah, back low. Okay. And what's going to be the decider? 
decided to strike. Strike. Okay, that's good. A lot of people on the uh, Tech Nine forums were saying Sivo should easily have this, or m and then others were saying, you know what, Anexus should easily easily have this. I'm gonna leave it all in the middle. Although, so far, I'm very tempted to say that individually, the Anexus team are really good, very very good. On, From a team paper? perspective, I'm saying Sivo is better. Yeah. Well, on paper, uh, for uh, an exist, no lineup changes at all, all right. in the last year. So they've been playing uh, together a long time. Um, individually, they're really good as well. Right. Um, they don't shout at each other. They don't scream at each other. Which is good. Uh, pretty solid team. But it's going to be interesting to see if they, once they're like four or five rounds behind, if they can still keep their cool. Mm -hmm. As uh, Adder finds himself all alone, Nate comes in, is forced out, he's going to drop it like it's hot. Them apples drop from above. It's 2-4, to four. and Nexus continue with the onslaught here on the crossfire. As the first scopes already being dropped. Stormy once again with the 700 going across. Nobody on towards A side. But oh, as he says, Annex getting at least three down, which is Whoa. Fox standing. As Fox, AK in hand, 1v3. But Stormy is still out there somewhere with that scope. And he could pick up a kill. Whenever he would like. The problem right here is that Fox will need to cross to get that final kill. And that right there is exactly what Stormy's waiting for. Here he is, scoping down long. Down the street he goes. And there he is. Fox drops down across. Gets taken down. It's two to five. Uh, initial nades already coming out. Kills being exchanged once again. The strategy for Sivos at the moment looks like it's going to be a B rush. Have they actually managed to get the bomb down once? I don't think they have. Not I haven't yet. seen any bomb plants so far. So far it's all been all about the frags. And no time extensions because the rounds have gone back and forth so quickly. It is absolutely ridiculous. Someday getting his uh, second frag. Tries to go for the no, but it's not going to happen. Bomb being moved up. Behind the stairs. A-star sits. Oh, Both okay. Away, my apologies. But Stormy is still on standby, and he was trying to get the fire in, too. As the Boko goes in for the double. It's just Fox remaining for Sivo now. Boko's already on the triple. On the hat trick. Quadruple. Fox could do this. Oh, never mind. Yep. <laughs> As he says, it's 2v6. And X is firmly taken away with a four-point lead. So far this tournament, I haven't seen it the other way around. I haven't seen an X is being really far behind. Yeah, it's true. It's already always been one point or two points, and that was pretty much it. And yeah. tied it all up. Right now, an X is leading with, uh, with four on crossfires. Hello, Evo. How can you rush that far and completely miss the Nexus player that just came by? And he is sitting on the site, and he just killed the bomber. Boko managed to get in. There he is, finally in banana, uh, in banana, in melons. But he managed to take down the bomber. And that is going to force Sivo's hand, putting a Nexus in towards a position where they can actually scan down that B site. Someday still. Scoping about. Looking to pick up that bomb. Header so, should be making the move into A, I assume. I don't see... I expect him to. I don't see Anexus putting themselves in kebab yet, though. And they should.
good positioning. Yep. Planted. Positioning could have been slightly better, but the bomb has been dropped. And he will get the scoping down street once again. Oh, oh there nice. is. Evo going with a double. Deagling and SMG to clean it all up. It's three to six with Sivo finally managed to bring up another round. Stormy, what did you do? Kesar finds himself slugged in the face by his own teammates. And that is going to cost the Nexus this round. Planted. Nope. Crossing the street. Not getting any help from a local youth. Getting run over by a car. Hmm. Interesting. So far, so good. No kills just yet. Boko again. Aggressive play here on towards... Uh, He's got good positioning right now. Yeah, he can just look in, see if there's anybody there. But it does look like... Sibo are looking to get a plant in. Yes, they are. If we can find him. Oh, the bomb has been dropped. It was Freak who tried to get the plant in. Oh, hello there. Future dropped. Oh. And Stormy potentially with the counter. Fox last man standing here for Sibo. A Nexus looking to extend their lead by yet another point, making it four to seven, somewhere in the very, very near future. Fox Always difficult to clutch on this map. Fox can run all he wants, but as long as he doesn't have to bomb. Yeah, it's true. And he, he, look at this, he's, he's forced to go all the way around in order he's to cross blind. the He's blind, he doesn't see the guy upstairs. Yep, four to seven. As we are in the last round of this half, with Someday taking it up first. As TLR is currently just starting their fourth place and third place final versus Yo-Yo Tech with their war cry. However, the final itself is underway too. Nice. A Nexus finding themselves in a 2v2. Together with Someday and Freak. He's going to get this plant in. Explosion no questions planted. asked. Careful. Well, you can just stay. Yeah. Takes down Stormate. That's the scope down. K Star tries to get in. And Sivo with a well deserved round. It's 5 to 7. A good, good, a decent half for. It's uh, a good first half. It's a, it's a decent ra uh, half here for Sivo. 5 to 7. Could be better, could be a lot worse. Yes. The first round of the second half comes across with Someday picking up the second and first kill all the way across. Some good scoping so far. As he should have a good idea of where most of Sivo, uh, of uh, my apologies, and Nexus are hanging out. K-Star? Sure. And Future. 
making that just future remaining. It's a 1v4. He has the bomb, but it's going to be extremely difficult to pull something off. A little bit of crossfire. Ha! 7-4. 7-6. As Anexus going in for a quick beat push. Again, late crossing here though. Future and Stormy, you're doing going all the way around and then getting the crossing going. Perhaps to get in towards the site, we will see. But is Evo already? Yes, they are sitting on the in the little alleyway here. On the stairs. Yep. Nicely done. Very nicely uh, baited out. Throwing a nade in there. And the bomb is going to go down. Someday he's going to get the call from his teammate. As it's just Seacox remaining. And there he goes. It is 7-7. Seven seven. It's all tied up. Sivo on the comeback. So far, we haven't seen any ridiculous play. A couple of nice shots, but so far it's been somewhat of a stale match with Fox being the last man standing and the bomb really quick. Really quick indeed. It's seven to eight. Someday in the Ooh, hello. Saw some, saw a. Blocks one of his teammates in the door. Crucial seconds lost. Oh. Stormy. Showing how it's done. We've seen that spot before, sitting on top of the bus. It didn't pay off the last time we saw it, but it is this <coughs> time for Stormy. All the way around he goes, and Header, well, he's going to have the problem of uh, trying to crossfire straight in towards that B site and cleaning it out. And that right there is going to be problematic with that SMG. Boko will be in a great position here to crossfire straight into the alleyway. As a Nexus are looking strong. They've got two players across the road with one scope sitting high. There's no way Sivo can cross here uh, right now. Bomb being planted. planted. Oh. Well done. Better That's remaining. Well and the hunt is on. It's 9 to 7. No way in hell. That Sivo could have crossed there. And Nexus have the entire road on complete and utter lockdown. Explosives planted. Well, again, a quick round with Freak. Being all alone, he does have that stopping power of the AK. The K Star and Z Cox are not going to let him cross here. It's happened before, it will happen again. 
Not enough time. 10 to 7. Three more rounds, and then an Nexus can tie it all together, and then we'll be moving on towards the back lot. Still, a Nexus finding themselves in a position of control of the map, and they're going to be able to get this bomb down unless that nade comes in, and it does. And just someday remaining, a Nexus are like, you know what? We're not even going to put that bomb down. We're just going to go for a little bit of hunt, a little bit of a stroll, see where that goes. And it goes very well, indeed. Kleinman, you've been quiet. Are you, are you tired by any chance? Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Trying to feel that energy, right? Um, it's been those best of three games. Oh. Playing them is all right. Watching them is a whole different story. No, well, maybe, maybe. I've been looking at these for a long, long time now. Oh, hello. Yeah. Really long. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, you get used to it, to say the least. Well, Explosives planted. And Nexus have assumed all control. Yeah. The next is looking to... Wow! Hello! K-Star with an absolutely superb shot there. Finding someday in the face. Match point. Yep. Map point. Map point, indeed. Map point. Match... No, not match point. Match point is... You're uh... getting ahead of yourself. Where did that come from? Stormy. Through the smoke is where the guard came from. As suddenly Sivo finds himself in a position where they are rather unlikely to survive. Evo is the last man right now. And the Nexus are going to take this very, very nicely. They rush in. It's 13 to 7 on, on Crossfire. We're going to be moving on to back lots. Which we all know. Yep, yeah, we can do that. Uh, the players, sure. are they going to go for a break is what I'm wondering at the moment. I don't think so. I don't think so either. Uh, in the meantime, though, we do have a another prize thing going on here, which is in combination with media on this time around. Um, huh. We've uh, Apparently, we've hidden a keyword in one of the Outpost on Fire 4 video on demand uh, videos on our website which can be found at www.chaostv.nl slash YouTube and it's in the top of the movie description it's a keyword and it should be very easy to find it's one of those things like which of these things just don't belong here kind of situations so you gotta locate the keyword go on towards Facebook slash chaos gaming and then well post right there what the keyword is and then you're into the prize draw what can you win? You can win a iPhone iPod docking station made possible by Medion. Of course, this event is going to continue on, and it looks like we're not even going to go for a break and go straight into what's next uh, bit of the final. Here at Outpost on Fire, made possible by TT Esports, nice. Vita Nova, and Chaos TV, which is what you are watching right now as uh, we are on the knife of course and see if we won the other knife round yeah they did well they can still win it the thing is uh 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 nexus winning the first but this is sivo's uh, map so we'll have to see how that uh, is gonna change the outlook of this particular matchup <laughs> run away someday! Run! Run like the wind! Elita! Freak. Freak picks it up. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, if you just tuned in here on Chaos TV, my name is A Spec. I'm joined here by none other than Bo Yo. Lineman. And this is the second map of the grand final of the Outpost on Fire, number four in Antwerp. Belgium, Europe, Earth, Solar System, Galaxy, Universe. 
That's is there anything mouthful. bigger? Uh, be multiverse, maybe. We can go that way. I don't know. Chaos, depending on your interpretation of uh, string theory. Yeah, let's I'll, I'll stay out of that. Let's not delve too much into that because I'll, I'll seem like an idiot. <laughs> Seafoam have made it into the A bomb site so quick. The Russian is from the Nexus are no use at all. Oh. A Nexus already off to a good start on Sivo's map. And They've and taken control of A already. I'm sorry? They've taken control of A. Yeah. Seafo had A covered. And they were sitting on top of the roof. Uh, well, we had we had yeah. Sivo's trying to get control of the roof and getting death from above, but. And the thing about standing on top of a hill is you kind of stick out. That's the problem with sitting on top of a hill. Let's see what we're going to see here. The bombers holding steady as Sibo uh, early on already yeah. losing out on one of their players. The Nexus are also stacking on A. Yeah. And the bomber is... Also near A. Ederling a little bit too close for comfort there. As Zycox goes down to the onslaught of the AK. And the rest of Anexus will find themselves in the back of the site. And you know what? Eder is going to go towards B. Try to get the bomb in. Make sure that uh, Freak is not going to have much of a problem there. Be much of a problem. So you can just rotate, get the bomb down, and wait for him to rotate in case. Well, he would take him down. So a wise decision. Good strategy so far here from uh, Anexus. Anexus again. Oh, they're going for a B this time around. As uh, Header running with the bomb. Maybe they could be trying to fake it off here as well. They've got one in, they got one in middle house. And even Zcox has decided to go all the way to A. And there's the control. A Nexus going massive once again. Stormy and K-Star both picking army. up two. Two man army. One to two. As uh, for those people that don't know, Backlot, such a nade heavy map. And the first nade's already coming in with Stormy taking down Freak. And K-Star with the spray through the smoke, making sure nobody rushes in. But you know what? Nobody's there, so nothing to shoot at to begin with. And Future, really aggressive, it finds himself within an absolute beehive of Sivo uh, players to, oh, to be only finally being put down. However, at the same time, Sivo and the Nexus being two on one. Just Fox standing as he drops. I like a brick. And Axis will pick up yet another round. Again, very, very fast rounds here. That's what you expect from Backlot. You're going to expect two, three nade kills at the beginning of the round. Right. And the map is so small that they're bound to meet up within 30 seconds. Right. Oh, that the round is over in 30 seconds. Last time we were on Backlot, it went all the way to overtime. A three-way overtime, if I'm not completely mistaken. The back oh, it was single overtime, actually. As we look away for one second, and suddenly the ground is littered with corpses, with this freak remaining on the Sivo side. And Future and Stormy in Midhouse, waiting for Freak to make his move. He wants to pick up the bomb. It's not going to happen because Stormy is sitting like a duck on its egg. Note how he didn't, he didn't use the term hen on its egg, because that's how I roll. And it's not going to be enough. Trying to retrieve the bomb, get some kill. One to four in favor of a, of a Nexus. This could be a very, very fast final here at Outpost on Fire 4. I hope not. No, I'm, I'm still hoping for something along the line of a, a Fnatic Diggy final. Well, I'm all for finishing before uh, ahead of schedule, but... Yeah, I know. It's it's only it's almost eight o'clock, which was the original start. Oh, no, the original schedule said that we will be done at five. No, start the final at five. Oh, to start the final at five, right? No, no. The, I mean the original, original schedule. Original, yeah. So the we're one, only two the, hours behind on that. The, the one where we had uh, two groups, and then the where we had two groups, and then a playoff, and then another get two groups, and then another playoff. That one. 
Yeah, the exciting one. The exciting one. As uh, Evo sees a duck flying over him, does not manage to go cold goose and does not manage to actually shoot anything there. And Heather finds himself all by himself. And flanks, gets flanked by Future, one to five. At this point, it does appear that the Nexus is outstrading Sebo at every single turn. And I'm starting to think that maybe, just maybe, Backlot was not much of a, not a good idea for Sebo to pick. No. But no, and Nexus picked this map. Sevo picked... Uh, Crossfire. Crossfire. Really? Yeah. Okay, stuff finds Freak. Could not finish it off. It seems that this round might be going to the the Sivo team. Yeah, for one, Sivo, if they would finally pick up a round after three, no, four rounds of not having any victory conditions whatsoever, then that would be a boost. However, right now, Freak is being pushed towards a corner. No. Someday getting dropped. And it's just Freak standing. He's just not hitting the frags that he should be hitting. Getting shut down. It's one to six. It's almost like an Nexus is just walking up towards Sivo with a glove, putting some sand in said glove, and slapping it in their face. Well, last round with the KZ star, he jumped away, he flicked around, and no scoped a couple bullets right. into one of the Sivo players. It's those kind of bullets that uh, turn the situation around. Because then the attacker, Sivo, has to take it slow. Even though they are taking it slow, they've already got Evo right in the A site, overlooking everything that he could ever want. As finally, Sivo are in a position of control. Also, the bomb carrier is moving in, so... Um, yeah, they will be able to plant that bomb shortly. And then the Anexus, first plant? Yeah, Anexus will Anexus hand will be forced. Explosives planted. I don't think they've planted before. No, they haven't actually. The fact that uh, Stormy is not running uh, scope says enough. Just K Star remaining. Looks like we're going to be seeing the second round for the first time in a long time for yes. Sivo. It's two to six. Oh. And again, Evo's the one doing all the rushing work. Every time he manages to get so far uh, into the access camp, the defending camp. Right. Here he goes. Oh, wow! Evo with absolutely superb map control and game sense right there. Even though explosives <laughs> planted, positions himself in perfectly, and now our nexus are slightly on the back foot. Oh, hello, freaking Evo with a back-to-back -back kill, and Sivo may actually be back on the Jazz. Full around might start rolling. Let's see if they can gain some more momentum. They are only three rounds behind. And that is definitely not much at all. And just when you think Sifo's gonna get a grip on the game, Boko takes a sniper rifle. He's dropped his SMG in favor of uh, Stormy and picked up the sniper rifle. Let's see what Well, it seems to be working so far. Even though it is all tied up, 
in player wise, and Baco is going to have the dubious honor of cleaning out A shortly. And the bomb is on Freak. And he's going to try to get in towards A now. Hello, Baco knows. Oh. K Star will have to rotate very, very fast now because Fox is going to get that bomb planted. planted. Freak, even. My apologies. Game of cat and mouse. And the cat is prevalent. It's four to six. Two more rounds in his half. I'm feeling that Sivo may actually pull this back towards a tie before halftime. Poco's still on the sniper. Still on the M700. Whoa, through the wall. Fox finds himself destroyed. And there's a second. Should have picked that up. Can he get the rebound? It doesn't pick it up either. As uh, someday comes in and ruins his cereal. Sifu are all over the B-bomb. And Stormy's last man standing. They're going to be pincered in. It's five to six. Only one round. Only one more round for halftime. A Nexus, if they want to stand a good, better chance of winning this, then they might want to think about winning this round. Sivo has managed to change up their strategy so far. Oof. A lot of nades there by the bricks. And Sivo with aggressive play in the A, securing this as fast as they can and ruining Anexus's ability to do anything about it. Look at that. They've already got three people in A. They're going to get that plant in. And someday, even going all the way around, gets shut down for his troubles, but the bomber's going to get planted. Picks up Evo. It's just Stormy remaining, though. Versus Fox Nether. <laughs> that could have been a Nearly crater. Nearly a crater. Oh, Stormy needs to watch out because... Oh, picks it up. It's just Header remaining. 24 seconds. Header is going to get the cross. Oh, too late. Fake the fuse, obviously. And he picks it up. It's 5-7. to seven. Anexus picks up that two-point lead before halftime. And they're going to need it if they want to continue on and ruin this map and ruin the first place here at Outpost on fire number four. Well, at least it's not a total whitewash. No, it's not a total whitewash. That's always good. Because the last time I saw them play backup was... Well, that was uh, TLRs, I believe. We can't say it enough. No. By the way, maybe an update on the score. Yoyo uh, -Yo Tech are leading 10 to 6. So you're in the first map? Crossfire. On Crossfire. Right now it's 11 6 to Yoyo -Yo Tech. Hmm. This could potentially be one of the faster finals I have had the pleasure of commentating over the last year. Then again, the final at the last E Series was quite quick as well. Which was a two ma which was a two map or two, where TLR managed to win over Aces. A good fun match that was. Then again, this is well. These two teams have traveled far, really far, far from Poland and far from Hungary, with various interesting ways of actually getting here. Some by plane, some by car, but so far it looks like a Nexus are in the lead. By only two points. And only one of these two teams is going to go home with the first place. My real question is, are our next is going to drive back or not? Of course. They're not going to leave the car. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Well, it's like Europe car or something like that. You can just, yeah. That would have been a good deal. They, do still, they still have got their tickets, so. Indeed. Unless they were planning on staying here. <laughs> no. No. It's European Union, it's all right. So Nexus 
managed to clean out two of Sivo, and they will get the plant in at this rate. Stormy holding it down, Boko. Whew, someday again. Is Boko running scope again? No, he's running SMG now. It's eight to five, and Exus extend their lead in the first uh, round of the second half. Right now, let's take a look at these stats, though. Kills, four only for Zcox. 15 and 14 for Stormy and Future, respectively. As Header with 13 and then 10 on Sunday. It's very, very spread, uh, spread out on both sides. Sivo with the better spread, to say the least. And Stormy and Future really doing it for a Nexus. And it's showing, because the Nexus is going to pick up this round as well. And there it is, it's 9 to 5. And Nexus only need three more rounds to win this wor this final. I almost want to say world no. final. Three more rounds makes it a tie, at least. What? And Nexus won the first map, didn't they? Yes. They yeah. need 30 rounds. It's four rounds for the win. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, it will be 12. Yeah, sorry. Math. Doesn't matter. I'm a more practical guy. Um, and Nexus, in the meantime, Future's future getting a triple. One with a nade, one with a car, and it wasn't enough because the double digits are here. You predicted the future. Timeout, perhaps. A little bit too late, perhaps, I think, at this rate, but what can... Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen? Not gonna happen. Well, they were very quickly rushing into the uh, finals itself. They didn't They didn't take any breaks between the first and the second maps? Um, no. Why would you? Well, they a lot of the other teams in the BO3s, so they're taking breaks between each map. There, there were Roxkiss and Eurotech. Yeah. Smoking habits. Uh, still, going without a cigarette for 45 minutes? Are you serious? Yeah. Uh. Fox, though. <laughs> it's definitely not looking good for Sivo right now. It's complete control for Nexus. Yep. And Nexus outclassing Sivo at every turn. Explosives planted. The bomb has been planted. Fox can go anywhere. This game, this round has been played. It is 11 to 5. Our Nexus are only two rounds away from taking home the prize. Strategy, strategy. It looks like it's going to be A once more. Ho! Oh. Even though Sivo. Managed to get those nades in, finally, showing that. Oh, wow! How? <laughs> okay. It must be so random. That is probably, yeah, that's just, That was slightly undeserved, if you ask me. Meanwhile, <laughs> Evo is all alone. And it tipped the scale. <laughs> yeah, it did. Even though Isivo managed to get those three kills early on, and suddenly, bam! Although. Oh. Well. There you have it. It's match point. A Nexus on match point here at Outpost on Fire 4. This right here could be it. Sivo needs to stand strong. Also, they need to win <laughs> seven rounds in a row. And Evo's doing what he does best. Run out and, and find people. Hated. Yeah. Oh, run out and find people. Oh, like this? Well, it would work if he used if the, he actually yeah, hits used the crosshairs. It. Yeah. Meanwhile, though, Nexus can afford to lose this round. Mid-air dodge, 12 to 6. Crater. He cratered. <laughs> what a great way to go. Keep the honor to himself. Yep. Not giving any kills, not any no. giving any points away on that. But right now, Nexus can chill. Really? For a little bit. Not too much, though, because... Comebacks are a distinct possibility here. And Sivo are gonna try to get the bottom out of the bottle out of the out of the bottle of marmalade. Okay. That's an expression. I guess. Yeah. Film me in later. <laughs> I will. Is that 3v3? History sells us. Oh, that's a good smoke. Oh yeah, good cross smoke, yeah. As Fox heard something rumbling from the basement. 
of a sight. Bound to come up the stairs. And taking it so. This is probably the longest round we've had so far in this final. With Sivo taking it extremely oh. slow. And it's not yep. going to happen. It's Evo all by himself. Evil Evo. The bomb being planted as we speak. Bit of a fake. He's not going to be able to pick it up. He gets Stormy, though. Future is low himself. Both sides on the regen. Can Evo Sivo get around here? No, oh. they won't. Because a Nexus are going to go home, back to Hungary, putting themselves in first place at the first big LAN for, uh, for Call of Duty 4 in 2011. This for is the West, uh, at least. really quick. Absolutely. One of the fastest finals for Call of Duty I've ever played. As uh, we are, well, essentially locking everything off here and... Well, absolutely well, well deserved for uh, for an Exes as the hands are being shaken on both sides with Sivo and an Exes shaking each other's hands, giving each other an applause, patting each other on the back. But an Exes shown themselves to be the superior team here yeah. at Outpost on Fire, and I'm really looking forward to them uh, them attending lands this summer as well over the entire period and see how are they going to be performing versus the team, say, the Fanatics or the Power Gaming, for instance. Exactly. I'm and really looking forward to when that. When uh, TCM might finalize a lineup. Exactly. Like when, If TCM can get their lineup into gear, I've been talking to Waka as well. He was saying, you know, guys, it's been absolutely great, but our, expect our expectations were a little bit higher, but because we had these lineup issues, yeah. We couldn't really perform, which is why they were seated so high and the Group A was a little bit of a shamble. But what? There's nothing much you can see about that. In the meantime, though, this has been uh, a spec to get it with. Kleinemann. Kleinemann. I want to thank you, Kleinemann. Thank you for so much to come here out here with uh, Vita Nova. No problem. As uh, you always, always a do a great job. And uh, I'm definitely going to miss you at Future Lands. You being in a great admin and all, as somebody standing in front of the camera, which is probably not a great idea. Yeah, I was kind of trying to do my exits here. Thanks. Oh, you want to do an exit? Yeah. yeah um, well, before you do an exit. Excuse me. Can you? Yeah, thanks. Thanks. You're standing in front of my camera. I'm doing <laughs> exits. Thanks. What? Yeah. But, thanks. Uh, but before you do an exit, okay. just a quick thing on uh, TLR game. Yeah. The third place. You're going to take one of the first map. All right. They're on the second map backlot right now. Right. So we'll find out what the final score on that one is going to be as soon as, uh, well, we're not going to be doing any commentary on that one. As nope. We're going to have to pack up ourselves as well as uh, I'm quickly going to need to uh, talk to one of my producers. All right. All right. In addition to uh, some of our other stuff, we've got, I want to thank Vita Nova, as I already said. I want to thank my producer, as always, Bus. You've been a great guy. We had Raimi here. We have Steven here on the side, who's been great for Game Vibes. Well, the owner of Game Vibes, really, organizing this event, making this all possible. It's been absolutely great. There he is. He's mildly insane. He went out last night, and he got extraordinarily drunk, as far as I know. So that's what I heard. Oh, I know, I know somebody else did. We shall remain nameless. I want to thank uh, TT Esports by Thermal, Thermal Take for making this event possible for uh, for all of us down here at the uh, at the venue. They've got these great products that they've uh, supplied us with to uh, well to use essentially during the event. They've got these mice they uh, they allowed us to use as well. We have to get the headsets. We got the keyboard, which is always great stuff. Uh, there we go, and we can actually win this stuff as well. We have the uh, we have more stuff going on. We're giving all this stuff away on Facebook, so I believe it's going to be on the TT Esports Facebook page, if I'm completely correct. So we're going to be doing that so over the next couple of hours slash days and weeks. Well, week-ish. So you'll be able to win that at home, and we're going to be getting all of that stuff together. Remember, all of the VODs are going to be available on chaostv.nl slash YouTube 
every single match that we have commentated on is going to be available on there. In short, it's been a great event. I've had a great time. I've been working with some great people down here in Antwerp. I'm going to go close up this event because tomorrow I'm going to have to fly out myself to Birmingham for my next event and then I got to do another event and then another event. So if you don't mind, I've got a really busy week. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. My name is Ben Aspec. Good night. From Alpha Queen Gayashi. Private Paula. Fight! That in the road. Oh, there and there and that. Ow! You hit me! Oh, I'm sorry, the bleeding darling. Is your PC a sissy? Get a tough one. The high-performance Median Eraser Gamer PC and the new Median Eraser Gamer Notebook. Powerful, innovative, based on the ultimate smart performance 2010 Intel Core processors. All you need for a fantastic gaming experience. Median Eraser, most powerful gaming machines.